You know I'm not really a fan of private investigator schools, quote unquote. I really believe in developing the skills you need to accomplish the job that's pretty much at hand, especially if you're looking to get hired with a detective agency or maybe you've already uh, gotten a job and it's requiring a certain skill set. So the question is, what skill should you develop first? Hi, this is Larry Kay with ShadowAnyone.com. I would say prepare for the simple and most probable first. So what do I mean by that? I think if you have a detective agency, it's very unlikely that you're going to get a call for an electronic countermeasure sweep uh, early on in your career when you start marketing, when you start putting yourself out there. I don't think you're going to get too many calls from people who want you to come in and sweep for electronic bugs or hidden cameras. I could be wrong, and in this day and age, that's becoming a, a more and more common uh, thing that's required. But it's it's just it's not simple for starters, and it's also not the most probable thing that you're going to need to do. I think it's much more likely that you're going to get a call about a cheating spouse or a cheating boyfriend girlfriend a domestic type case like that. I think it's much more likely that you're going to get a call for a missing persons or a skip trace, maybe just a long lost love or something like that, where they're just not able to find that person using social media. And believe me, they've tried themselves before they called you. If you're marketing to law firms, it's much more probable, simple and, and probable that they're going to need you to serve process than that they're going to need you to do something else far more elaborate, maybe an accident investigation, for example. Sure, Are, is there money to be made doing accident investigations? Absolutely. Have I done it? Yeah, it's, it's a good skill set to have, but the simple thing is process serving. The probable thing is process serving. Pick your own thing. Obviously, I have process server training, so you say, well, Larry, you got a dog in the fight. Maybe, that, maybe that's why you're saying that. Pick your own thing. Evaluate for yourself what you think is going to be a, a simple and probable case you're going to have to work and then develop that skill first. Now I think a real pitfall to fall into is to trick yourself in your mind and say what well, I'm really I need to get better at X so I'm going to work on X. Slow down for just a second and think in terms of what's your aptitude? What do you like doing? If you like background checks, if you like digging around trying to find that secret that nobody else can find or that the last guy missed, then your aptitude may be more in background checks. And so maybe that's a skill set that you want to develop first. So don't necessarily use this exercise as a, as an excuse to plug a weakness, but look at legitimately what's what am I going to need to do? What case am I going to most likely need to take and work on that skill? Now, as you do that, watch out for this. There is a warning for you. Don't waste a lot of time learning that skill. Don't tell yourself in a year I'll be good enough or in six months I'll know enough and, and set like these artificial deadlines. Yes, it takes time to learn some skills. You're going to have to read some or, or learn in one way or another. You're going to have to learn it. And maybe some of that does come down to experience of actually doing it. But don't take more time than is necessary to do that. Obviously, I sell training, and a big reason I sell training is because it's easier to recover from a money mistake than it is from a time mistake. If you try to learn something on your own and it takes you six months or a year and you're still not there, or even if you do get there at the six month or year mark, what would have happened if you had known at the 30 day mark and you could spend all that other time actually working on getting cases? So if you're going to make a mistake and leaning one way or the other, man, you can come back from a, mis a dollar and cents mistake easier than you can from a time mistake. You're never getting that time back, ever. You can earn more money, but once you've wasted the time, it's wasted. And keep in mind, it's not a die-hard line in the sand either or. If you want to, some places, yes, you buy the training and you're stuck with it. If you have a skill set that you want to learn that I teach like process serving or surveillance, uh, then try my training, get my training. I hate to say try it because that's kind of a weak thing, but get my training. It's got a full one year money back guarantee, no questions asked. You're not risking money 
and you're possibly saving quite a bit of time. It's the best of both worlds in that way. So don't let me or anyone else sell you something. Don't do that. Use your brain, evaluate what you're most likely going to need, and then go out and get it in the way that works best for you. In the meantime, this is Larry K. with ShadowAnyone.com. Remember, do the right thing, even if it's the hard thing.